All right, so we're here with Nadi Shalom. Can you tell us who you are and, uh, and what you do with OpenStack? Yeah, so my name is Nadi Shalom, as you said. I'm the city and town of Gigaspaces. And I'm, uh, I think with OpenStack, uh, when well, it was just the idea, uh, when I met with Mark earlier, and I've been following OpenStack ever since and been a big supporter. Yeah, okay, and we are here at the uh, OpenStack Day Israel. It's June of 2014. How many of these have you had? This is the fifth or sixth one, I think. I think fifth. <laughs> yeah. If I count correctly, I stopped counting at some point. And uh, by far, I think it's the most successful one that we had so far. Yeah. How is it different than when you were getting started? I think when we were getting started, there was a lot of questions or is OpenStack the right thing? Uh, is it going to happen? Is it going to be successful? Uh, is it something that I'm going to back on? Uh, even until last year, I think that was the still the main thing from like the cloud uh, above the discussions. And I think this year it's more about how do I do things with OpenStack? How do I get started? How do I actually implement things? How do I move fast with OpenStack? And, and those type of things which create a completely different vibe uh, from the discussion. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, my second time to come to one of them here in Israel. And Beautiful weather again. <laughs> Besides the beautiful weather, what are some of the other uh, things that, that you think makes um, Israel unique from the technology front? Yes, I think Israel, for a lot of things, for a lot of reasons, both the original ones and the type of, if you like, culture that exists here is a, is a startup nation. And I think I was referring to that before. Um, there is a lot of entrepreneurship atmosphere. Just because we don't have natural resources and we don't have other choices, and our neighbors don't like us uh, that much. Um, so, our only way is to go export, and our only way is to innovate, to even survive. And uh, that created that kind of like mentality and culture uh, that brought a lot of entrepreneurship into the country and kind of drive that continuously. Uh, so, everything that is new, everything that is revolutionary, is, is sparks the immediate imagination of a lot of people and uh, get them. And uh, um, you were at the summit in Atlanta, right? How do you think uh, how do you think the global community around OpenStack has, has grown and changed? Yeah, so I was talking to Lorraine about it. I think that uh, in At Atlanta was by far the most successful event uh, of OpenStack. Uh, I think since I've been in OpenStack. And one of the main reasons, again, is that shift between from the point in which people were studying what is OpenStack and you know, standing in the fence and looking how it's going to shape versus you see people are moving into execution. So that creates a lot of interesting intersections and dialogues that are very different than the one that I've seen last year or elsewhere, uh, or how you do things, and also bring different people into those uh, meetups. So you see business people together with technologies, the developers, low-level developers even, in one place, that's a very rare thing. That's something that I've seen, I think, only 10 years ago, I think, when Java started, or something like that. So it's really coming when there is a big revolution wave that brings a lot of those people together and that the fact that you have those people together creates a lot of interesting things. Yeah. All right, thank you very much.